हेलो फ्रेंड्स माय नेम इज ज्योति कुमारी असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर बियानी गर्ल्स कॉलेज जयपुर वेलकम्स यू ऑल ऑन बिहाफ ऑफ गुरु के पी टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिलीवर माय लेक्चर ऑन डीएनए एज जेनेटिक मटेरियल वी ऑल नो अबाउट डीएनए दैट इज डी ऑक्सीराइबोन्यूक्लिक एसिड डीएनए इज फाउंड टू बी द जेनेट हेरिडिटी मटीरियल इन ऑलमोस्ट ऑल ऑफ द लिविंग ऑर्गेनिज्म एक्सेप्ट फ्यू प्लांट वायरसेस सो वेरियस एक्सपेरिमेंट्स वर परफॉर्म टू प्रूव डीएनए एज जेनेटिक मटीरियल I would like to explain few experiments that were performed to prove DNA as genetic material. So, first experiment that was performed by Frederick Griffith in 1928, while studying the pneumonia-causing bacteria, he studied that there are two strains of pneumonia, Streptococcus pneumoniae, that causes. One was a virulent strain that were referred to as S3 strain because it produces smooth coloring, whereas other was R2 strain. that was non virulent strain so what he done was he took the non virulent strain and then injected into the mice he found that the mouse lives then next again he took s3 strain and injected into the mice and he found that mouse dies then what he done was he killed he used the heat kill s3 strain and then injected into the mice but at that time the mouse lives then in the next uh, uh, next practical he done he took heat kill s3 strain plus the r2 strain and the when injected into mice the mouse dies then what happened actually what was the material that transformed the non virulent strain into the virulent strain which leads to which leads to death of the mouse so from this experiment it was concluded that was something that was causing the transformation of non virulent strain into the virulent strain so in 1944 three scientists again revisited the griffith experiment and then they found that the transforming principle was actually the dna not protein not any lipid he again took the s3 strain and then he took the dnas the dnas actually break down the dna and when they saw the result they found that the transformation does not occur whereas when they took the sample plus the rnas then the transformation was occurring so it was clear that the transforming material was actually dna not protein not rna so this proved that dna is genetic material the next practical that was performed by hershey and chase in 1952 this experiment was also known as bacteriophage infection the first they studied the structure of virus then they grew the virus into the bacteria on radioactive containing medium that is on the one medium there was radioactive phosphorus present whereas on other medium there was radioactive sulfur present so they grow these viruses into the bacteria containing radioactive medium so next these viruses grown uh, when the viruses contain when the viruses were grown in phosphorus containing medium then that radioactivity was transfer was restricted only to dna because dna is enriched with phosphorus then next when these uh, radioactive label dna were infected to new bacterium and when infected to new bacterium and blender and centrifuge after 20 minutes the e coli basically e coli ruptured by releasing these phage bacteria and they notice that the radioactive was radioactivity was transferred into the progeny cells in the next in the uh, at the same time the other experiment they performed was using radioactive sulfur because radioactive uh, radioactive sulfur was mainly uh, sulfur is present in amino acids so amino acids is the formation of protein so the radioactivity was only restricted to protein not to dna now this time the phage was infected to again new bacterium and again the dna enters into the bacterium after 20 minutes the e coli release the phage and they found that the non radioactivity 
the radioactivity was not present this time in the DNA. So, according to this experiment, it was concluded that DNA actually the DNA passes from the parent to the progeny. It means DNA is the genetic material. That's that's all about uh, DNA genetic material. For more details, please log on to our website www.gurukpo.com. Thank you, thank you, and thank.